Hey, Shalom, I'm giving all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakahakwadash. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who told me this truth. A sincere Shalom, Labakaryam, Shah, Yasha Allah. That's peace to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. And what you're about to witness is a strange anomaly over the White House in Washington, D.C. Okay? Now, they said this, um, they're calling it a portal. You know, it, it was showing up several days uh, last month, in the month of July, if I got my date correct. But you'll hear it and see it for yourself. You know, now when I saw this a minute ago, first chapter came to my head, man, was Sirach 36. And we're going to get that because the Lord is about to show so many signs and strange wonders. And rightfully so, because um, the reality that's created for the average mortal walking around planet Earth is dull. I got to take this from uh, Elder Yasha Wamba. I heard him say this a few months back. The human experience is played out. You know, everybody's sad, everybody's dull, everybody's noticing that they're rep repeating the same process every day. You got a pocket full of money, there's nothing to do. You untried every food, you unwatched every show. The music is done. So the human experience on this side is, is shot, but people don't know. They think that this is perpetual, that this is just life and this is how it goes. So when the Lord starts showing these UFOs and breaking the fourth dimension and, and coming into our dimension and showing these miraculous, wonderful miracles, it's going to knock the majority of people off their feet. But it's going to be a wake up to what reality is, because you getting up, going to work every day, sending the kids off to school, coming home, getting in bed with your spouse, waking up to repeat the process over brushing your teeth, going to whatever square cubicle you work in around the world. Is done. So, you know, the Lord has opened our eyes out so we see, we can imagine again, you know, we, 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 we can get into the Bible with the vision, you know, the visuals that Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah has blessed us. Let me just get that real quick, you know, because where there's no vision, the people perish, and these people on planet Earth, they don't have vision, but uh, they soon will. <laughs> they little dull lives they live in. It's about to be shattered. Their reality, man. You know, it said, this is uh, Proverbs 29 and 18. It says, where there is no vision. See, you got to have that uh, that imagination. But the Lord got to open it up to see these scriptures clearly, to see the salvation, to be able to handle what you're about to see. You're going to see things coming out the sky, things coming out the water. You know, there's been sightings of... Um, uh, different creatures in the ocean I mean mega sized creatures That can't be explained They're all kind of tornadoes Hurricanes that's coming through You got to start getting your mind used to Seeing animals in a coordinated order Marching to the drum of the spirit Yeah certain animals About to stand up for the Lord You about to see things that you never Thought you, you would ever see In your lifetime So the Lord about to spice up your life <laughs> Real soon so it says, where there is no vision, the people perish. So these people just sitting around waiting to die, man. Everybody's miserable. Women against men, men against women. No one wants to have kids. You treat your animal better than you treat your man. This is a miserable human experience at this time. But this is under the rulership of you damn Edomites, man. So you unstrip the Israelites of their spirit, but they about to get it back. <laughs> You know, it's about to be a real rude awakening because this is not life. This is not what's been uh, uh, deemed for the gods. You know, this is this is, a, 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 I would say, a trial and error. You know, going back to the fall of Adam, the suffering part. But now, thanks to our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, you know, he saved us. He's redeemed us through his blood on that cross. And now our Lord's about to return and clean planet Earth and clean this place up, man. So it says, where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, and right now those are the prophetic sins, and we gain access to grace through faith, man. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he, man. So these people, they lack vision. 
But due to what's happening on planet Earth, you about to see real soon. Your reality and your, your mind, the Lord going to have to up your mind to handle this. That's why I say every eye shall see. That's dealing with the spirit, man, of the mind to handle what you about to witness. Now, let's check this out. Above the White House, this video was shared with me just a few days ago. It has narration, and here we go. Video was taken in July 2024 um, via the White House live cam on the web, and you can see it fluctuating in color. Um, I didn't do anything to this video, I just recorded it. Um, but it appears to be some kind of a portal. This was above the White House uh, over the course of several weeks in July. Um, I haven't checked it recently, so it may still be there, but um, it was there. Some nights it was bigger. There's a, a large one above it, and then a brighter one below it. Now you so think you uh, the least don't see this? See, the Lord is doing to them what he did for, um, you know, the Babylonians. You know, right before he um, he sent the uh, the Medo Persians in to attack. You know, I think it was Belshazzar. Belshazzar that was in uh, stand for um, the king at that time. He sent the hand, a hand, to write, "You've been weighed in a balance, and you've been judged." What is it, Tinky Tinky Mini Me? That hand came in. And wrote that. That was a sign. That was a miracle. You know, everybody at that party, and they was drinking out of the Lord's vessel at that time. They were shook. And that night, they was uh, rejoicing off that them dainty meals they were eating, and, and that wine. And the Lord sent in. You know, He sent in a, a, a surgical strike. You know, a well coordinated team, and took them out and integrated Babylon into their new system, the, the new Medo Persian kingdom. But he gave them a warning. The Lord does that to the least. The least are getting warnings. Like, did they see this? So imagine what he's showing them in London. Imagine what's going on over there. The Lord is showing all kind of crafts and, and miracles in the sky at this time. But you think that you're going to see this on the 6 o'clock news? You think they're going to report this? Oh, call y'all. I'm about to look. It's 444 four, four right now. You know, you ain't going to see this on the news. They're going to keep this from you. And when something like this happened, because that camera that you're watching, that's a camera that monitors the White House. They looking at that thing clearest, you know, that could be a ship mistaken for a portal. But we know it's an, 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 an anonymy. This is, um, this is Ciroc 36, right? I'm going to just read it. It says, have mercy upon us, O Yahweh, the power of all. And behold us and send thy fear upon all the nations. And that's what people about to get. You about to witness the fear of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah real soon. It says, Lift up thy hand against the strange nations. That's you Edomites and you other Gentiles. And let them see thy power. Y'all about to see the power of the heavens real soon. As thou wast sanctified in us before them. And they, they looked at us, man. We went through these curses. What's that? Limitations 121. Now it's about to be done to you. It says, so be thou magnified among them before us. And when we see the Lord kicking your ass, what's that? Romans 9. He, he heartened up uh, Pharaoh at that time. He heartened up Esau to bring him down. The elect was a frightened, man. We're going to be seeing the Lord moving on mysterious ways things that cannot be explained by mortal man and the Lord is going to about to magnify himself and let them know thee as we have known thee that there is no power but you only thou Yahweh show new signs that's the point show new signs and make other strange wonders so this will be considered a, a new sign, man. And it's over the White House. I'm glad the Lord is doing this. He's tormenting them. They see this. The elite see this. 
Congress, you know, whoever's in the area, the Pentagon, you know the Pentagon sees this. Look how big it is. Then it's something over top of it that's even bigger. And it's just sitting there. Bloodshot red over your White House, man. Come on, they should they would have had jets and everything because they had a point to where they know that the Lord is about to move on his place. They're not telling you this. They got your ass just working, going to work, worrying about your 401k and your latte in the damn morning, ready to take this mark of the beast. But they know that their power structure, their system is about to be brought down by who you call God, who name is Yahweh and his son name is Yahweh Shah. So these are new signs and strange wonders. to be some kind of a portal this was above the white house uh, over the course of several weeks in july um i haven't checked it recently so it may still be there but um it was there some nights it was bigger there's a, a large one above it and then a brighter one below it so you can play with the lighting and figure it out but thank you mr m b that video footage was sent in by Angelique of some sort of a anomaly showing up in the, the footage here of a webcam that monitors the White House and Washington Monument. That is indeed very mysterious. I don't know if that's some sort of a bizarre reflection or two. That is indeed very interesting and according to Angelique, and you can hear somebody else in the background talking too about this mystery above the White House. Apparently it was visible for the entire month of July. Thanks for sharing, Angelique. Really appreciate Bro, that. Get this ready. Get ready. The Lord is not playing, man. He's about to blow your shoes off. Uh, finish this up. This is Sirach 36, verse 6. Show new signs and make other strange wonders. Glorify thy hand and thy right arm, which is Yahweh, that they may set forth thy wondrous works. And you will know the name of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, real soon. Raise up indignation and pour out wrath. Take away the adversary, which is you damn Edomites and you other nations ruling with them. And destroy the enemy. That's you, E. So the Lord is coming for you. Make the time short. Remember the covenant, which the Lord never forgot the contract. And let them declare thy wonderful works. So what you saw there? <laughs> and this this is this is just a small, this is a taste, man, of the Lord's wonderful works, man, that he's about to do in this place. Yeah, for the average mortal, it's about to get scary out of here, man. The Lord about to turn America to a haunted house. But to the elect that know what's going on, these are called wonderful works. Wonderful works here, man. We're gonna be praising the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shaka. The enemy running scared. He running scared now. That's why this is not blasted all over the news station. They just try to ignore this. They trying to act like they don't see this. But we see it. Okay. This last last scripture in this same chapter, Sirach 36. Let's jump down to verse 11. Gather all the tribes of Jacob together, and eventually that's about to happen. Um, Isaiah 14 1 and 2, the Lord about to have mercy on all the tribes. Romans eleven twenty six. 26, you know, all Israel gets saved, but right now that's the election, the chosen ones, you know, starting with the 144,000, 12,000 out of each 12 tribe of Israel, the Lord's first fruits. That's all He's looking for right now. So it says, Gather all. The tribes of Jacob together and inherit them as from the beginning, the first church. The first church. Our Lord said in St. John 17, glorify me with the glory I had with thee from the beginning. So the Lord about to reset this thing, man. Because this ain't living. You getting up every day eating this damn GMO food. Fruits without seeds and shit. The kids are walking around with orange and purple hair. Women with women, men with men. I mean, it's an abomination out here. Gamers, you got 40, 50-year-old gamers 
All they do is play a the video game all damn day. Everybody's on some type of drug. Your bodies are breaking down. There's no clean water. The land is defiled. The animals are suffering. So the Lord is about to restart life. Starting with Yahawashah, man. And he's coming back for his election. Inherit them as from the beginning. We turn it into gods again. Akim, get ready. For the Lord is about to make a move. Giving all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha Kudash. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. A sincere Shalom, Labakarium, Shah, Yasha Allah. That's peace to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom.